hi guys welcome back to my channel cooking with ada o today i'll be showing you how to make this yummy healthy bulgur and cauliflower jollof don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel sit back and enjoy while i prepare this yummy healthy food thanks So the ingredients I'll be using today are bulgur wheat, cauliflower, ginger and garlic, onions, red pointed pepper, prawns, salt and no seasoning. So to season my chicken, I use salt, powdered no chicken, powdered ginger and garlic, then all purpose seasoning. I mix everything together and set aside to marinate for one hour. Let's get cooking. So I put my pan on the hob, added in my coconut cooking oil. This adds flavor to your cooking. I'll be using this to saute the chicken so I'll be adding in my chicken and then I'll let them cook on each side for about five to seven minutes So once they are brown on each side, I'll take them out and put them in the oven to cook properly. So I'll add in my prawns at this time and let them cook for uh, roughly about 5 to 7 minutes. So guys, make sure you stir them while they cook. And at this point, I'll add in my blended red pointed pepper, onion, ginger, garlic that I've blended using my food processor. You can see they are a bit rough. They are not finely blended. So stir that in and let them cook for about five to 10 minutes. So make sure you stir while you cook so it doesn't burn. And then now at this point, I'll add in bay leaves. I'll add in my two nor cubes and stir them again. Cover it up and let them cook for another two minutes. So at this point, once I see that it's fine, I'll add in water, about a cup of water, stir it in and then add in my bulgur. I washed my bulgur about two to three times using warm water. Stir it in and cover it up to cook for about three minutes. So after three minutes, I used foil to cover it up and reduced my heat to medium so that it takes the time to cook. So 
at this point just taste as you cook along mine needed a bit more seasoning so i added in salt and my no powdered seasoning stir it in properly and i added in a bit more water covered it up and let it cook on medium heat for more five minutes So once it's nearly ready, I'll add in my cauliflower which I've blended using my food processor and I blended it with my scotch bonnet also known as atarudo or very spicy chili pepper. Stir them in together and cover it, cover it for about a minute or two to let the cauliflower cook. Stir them in and let them cook for about one minute. At this point guys, I reduced my heat to very low heat because I don't want my vegetables to overcook. Voila! Our tasty yummy bogo and cauliflower food is ready. This is so so good guys, especially for those of us trying to stay healthy and eat yummy food as well. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. Please guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. See you in my next post. Bye!